Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hello, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be doing some intensive glute exercises today. So glute is this wonderful area of your body right here. And most of us would like it nice and tight. So if you do this exercise even just once a week, or probably even once every two weeks, you'll see a difference. But of course, the more you do it, the faster and, and more effective it will be. Do this every day, you're gonna be really rocking, okay? So we're gonna start out with just some kind of low intensity ones, and then we're gonna end with some high intensity ones and do a cool down, okay? So just gently reach back and grab your ankles and just get familiar with this position. Nice and gentle, slowly. Okay, and then once you're comfortable here, you wanna kind of pull up and you'll feel your glute tighten. Your glute should be in a completely flexed, tightened position. And you just wanna hold it here. I find it's easier to grab kind of lower on my ankle rather than way up high on my toes. But do whatever's comfortable for you and pull it up until you feel that glute really squeeze and flex. You should feel it in your thighs too, actually, as well. And just hold it here. One, two, squeeze, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. And release and relax. Pull those legs out straight. Kind of twist your body out a little bit. Relax your back. It's also a great back workout. This is called bow pose if you want to get really technical. And again, reach back. Try to squeeze it a little bit tighter and hold it. Just hold it as long as you can, and if you need to relax and then jump right back in, absolutely go for it, okay? Hold it, breathe. Good, just relax. Relax, relax. Squeeze that glute. Feel the burn. You should be really feeling it burn. And breathe. Focus on the breathing, not really so much the burn. Good, hold, hold, hold. Good. Wonderful. Really make it count. Push. Mm. Good. And relax. Whew. And just hold it here. Breathe. Drop the head back. Hmm. Feels good. It's great cardio exercise, too. And relax. Let's do that one more time. Super high intensity, really make it count. That's what we're here for. Pull it up. Good. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Woohoo! Flying. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Feel that glute burn. Breathe. Good. And hold it, hold it, hold it. If you need to relax, that's cool. Just get right back into it. Good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Ah! Hold it until you're screaming and then release. Good. Whew. Relax here. Inhale deep. Pull the head back to the pelvis. Good. Now I'm just going to do some little simple pumps here. One leg up, doesn't matter which leg, any leg. Straight leg and just hold it. Now you see my glute is in total flex position and that's where you wanna hold it. And burn, 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 burn. Good. Hold it here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. If you have a book, you can break out and read your book and burn your glutes at the same time. Turn on your favorite TV show. Make your boyfriend dance for you. Make your girlfriend dance for you. Make your dog dance for you. Make your grandma dance for you. <laughs> Get some entertainment. 
Keep your mind off the burn and just hold it. Good, good, good. Now let's do some pumps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I lost count. Keep going. <laughs> go, 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 go. Just go until you can't go anymore. Good, excellent. And bring it down, wonderful. Other side, bring it up, hold. Good, good, good. You pick up the phone, call your aunt that you haven't talked to in a long time, or your friend, or your grandpa. It's a great little exercise you can do while you're just working on anything, paying bills. Very simple. Not too much stress involved here. Just pure burning of that muscle. Keep it going, keep it going. Good, now give it some pumping here. Good, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Ooh, whew. And bring it down. Good. Drop it back. Inhale. Exhale. Roll out your head a little bit. Relax your neck. And push into your hands. Straighten your arms. And stretch that back out. Keep your pelvis flat on the floor. Good. It's a great stretch for the abs as well. Hopefully you just did your ab workout. Good. Come back down. Good, now try to bring it up even higher than you did before and hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Pull those toes in. Good. Woo, feel the burn, feel the burn. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Give me 10 good ones here. Push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, hold it, hold it, hold it, screws. Good, and down. Other leg. Get ready for some squats after this. We're gonna stand up. And really get down to business. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Pull that toe in. Hold it. Squeeze that glutes. Squeeze that glutes. Burn it. If you're not feeling the burn, you need to squeeze it tighter. Good, keep breathing and pump it out here. 10 really tight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn. Good, good, good. Screw, screw, screw. Whew. Okay. Get ready to stand up. Ooh. Okay, so get on your feet. We're going to be doing some squats and some lunges now, a little more high intensity. It'll be over before you know it, don't worry, and you're gonna feel great afterwards, okay? So I'm just gonna turn to the side. Okay, so with a lunge, I just like to rest my hands on my hips, and you just step out as far as you can go. Woo! With one leg, pull it all the way down. Sometimes I like to dip it down and just grace the floor with my knee just a little bit, just so I know I've reached my limit. Bam, and come back up. Now, if you need your supports on either side, if you wanna put a table, 
and just kind of rest your hand on the table because it does require some balance until you get used to it. When I first tried this, I was very wobbly. It does take some practice, so don't feel bad if you're wobbling when everyone's wobbling when they first start. It just, it's like riding a bike, you just have to practice, okay? Okay, so you wanna kinda keep in a nice straight line. You don't wanna come way over here uh, and end up in a totally different place, okay? Just nice and slow, drop it, bam, and come back up. And I like to put all the weight into my heel so that the weight will travel up my heel and really work the backside, okay? So let's go, just nice and gentle to start and then push back up, okay? Alternate and push. Step into the heel, all the weight into the heel and up. This also requires some nice ab strength as well. And up, keep going. And up, good. And up. And up, good. And up. And up, keep going. Great. Feel that burn. Woo. Keep going. Awesome. Good. You don't want to bang your knee on the floor. And if you don't want to go all the way down to the floor, that's awesome. Just go whatever is in your comfort range. As long as you're doing something, moving, it's better than nothing, always. Don't expect to be perfect the first time you start. Take some practice. Nice and slow, gentle, control. Now, hold it here. Just give me a little bit of pumps. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Shake it out. Alternate. Hold it, one. Two, three, four, five. Push it up. Good. Let's do that one more time because that was awesome. Wasn't it? Yes, it was. And one, two, three, four, five. Shake it out. Are your thighs on fire yet? Good. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Ready for some squats? I sure am. Okay. I'm gonna go all the way down to the floor. Okay, but you don't have to go all the way down the floor. You can just keep it here, whatever's in your comfort range, okay? Or if you wanna start out going to the floor and then end with just kinda less intensity, that's fine, whatever you can do, okay? So. Feet about shoulder width apart. Make sure your core is tight. Your back is flat. Your spine is nice and strong, okay? Shoulders back. Good posture, just like any other exercise we do. Keep your chin nice and lifted, head back. If you wanna bring your arms out on the way back, that's fine. If you don't wanna do anything with your arms, just leave them at your hips, okay? It's a little more comfortable for me just to bring them in front, okay? So as we go down, Keep that spine nice and strong. Boom. And then up here. Try not to hunch over and do any of this. As you're coming down, keep nice and strong and stiff and come up. You want to definitely keep your core really contracted here. And push. Good. And push. And when you come up, squeeze those glutes. Get your, give your glutes a little extra squeeze when you come up. Good. Don't have to come down as far as I'm going. You can work up to that. We're not even gonna count. We're just gonna go until we can't go anymore. Don't worry about numbers. <sighs> worry about how you feel. Good. No rush, nice and slow. Keep the core tight. Show you from the front. Core tight. Just 
squeeze that glute when you come up. Good. Show from the back. more keep going shake it out if you need to a little bit of a rest wiggle those knees good 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 get right back into it nice and easy nice and easy folks be sure and keep those abs tight and that spine stiff and strong more. Then we're going to relax. Wonderful. Two more. One and two. Whew. Excellent day. Lift up those knees. Oh, lordy, lordy. Thighs of fire. Again, if you do this every day, your glutes are going to be rotund. I actually don't do this enough. But even once a week, even once every two weeks, you will start to notice a difference, some kind of, some kind of difference. Whew. Work out the thighs. Now, Stretch it out, lean, legs far apart, lean, and lean, just sway with it, good, awesome, be proud of yourself, wonderful, don't you always feel so wonderful after you exercise? Keep it going here. Good, just kind of rotate and push forward and back, side, forward. Big circle here and reverse. Awesome. And bring it up. Let's just stretch out those thighs for a little bit. If you need to use your support chair, table, go ahead. Just grab your toes, pull it in. And you want to keep your knee next to your other knee. Okay? Not way out here, not in front, not in back. Right next to your other knee. And just gently pull it in. Good. Pull your toes into your glutes. Use your support if you need to for balance. And slowly release. And grab that other foot. And pull it in all the way up to the glute. Heel to glute. Squeeze. Inhale deep. And exhale. Awesome. And gently release. Give me a big, big open stretch here. Lift all the way up. Bring it down. Inhale deep. Wonderful. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. So proud of you. Be sure and favorite this video. Join me anytime you want to work out and burn some calories. Okay? So... Be sure and check me out on my channel as well, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much.